So we meet again class for this topic. Okay, the continuation of chapter five. Okay, just recap a little bit where you have prepared a variable named bunny one height. Okay, then you have also um prompt user to input new height. Okay, so when you run your program, a prompt message will appear. Input a new bunny one's height and user must enter something into the text dekat sini. Okay, so bila dia dah enter, dia tekan OK, dia klik OK. So what happened to the uh, input that is entered by the user? Okay, we have to use. Kalau tidak, buat apa kita minta kan? Kalau minta sesaja, oh, macam tak ada guna kan? So, kita nak guna lah benda tu. So, where we want to put that information or the input. So, we use math expression to perform calculation and to return result or the value. So, example of math expression, you can use literal number where you add or you uh, subtract, multiply. Divide, okay, using numbers. Or you can also do your calculation using variable. Example here, period multiply with hours work. Okay, you can also combine between variable and the literal number. So, your expression calculation will result to something and the result will be assigned to a variable. So, tadi saya tanyakan kat mana nak simpan. So, kita jawapan dia kita simpan dalam variable. So, these operators are used, okay, this operator for addition, this one, the minus for subtraction, the asterisk for multiplication and the slash for division. So, suppose we want to increase whatever um, user entered, okay, when we prompt for a new bunny's height tadi, whatever user entered into that uh, prompt message tu, Okay, we want to increase it by 0 0.25. Okay, so you already have this one. You just add this one, bunny one height. And then you go to maths. Then you go to this one. Okay, sebab kita ada dua tempat kan. Apa nak tambah dengan apa. So the first one yang apa tu adalah the variable itself. Nama yang sama lah. Banding 1 height equal to banding 1 height. So, kita select this one. Banding 1 height. And then we want to add with what? We want to add it with 0 0.25. So, we select this one. Kata kalau you tak nak guna 0.25, ada nombor lain dalam soalan lain. So, you customkan your number. Okay, kita mesti ikut kita punya expression form ni. Banding 1 height equal to banding 1 height plus 25 kan? Okay, this is the way. Okay, so your... Uh, program, okay, will be set like this. Bunny 1 height, assign ni assignment statement kan. So, bunny 1 height equal to bunny 1 height plus 0 0.25. So, bila you run, jangan lupa, you must set that your bunny 1, okay, so this bunny 1, you want to set the height to a new height. So, you must do this where your this bunny 1 set height equal to bunny 1 height. Okay, kita pun tak tahulah user masukkan berapa. Okay, let's say user input or entered 1.75, dia tekan OK. So, actually apa yang berlaku? 0.75 will be added with 0.25 equal to 1.75. Zero kan. So, dia akan membesar sebanyak 1.0 lagi meter. Okay, that's why your bunny one bunny one becomes bigger than your bunny two. Okay. So, the parameters kita tahu tak, ingat tak apa parameters? Parameters tu yang ada dekat dalam Function call tu yang kita hantar kepada function kita tu. So, function is a method where each method is its own small block of instruction designed to perform specific tasks when requested. So, function call lah. 
So therefore, some communication might need to occur when a method is called. So your parameters are used to communicate with a method. Okay, kalau tak faham, refer balik contoh yang saya dah bagi. We arrange to communicate values, example, number, string, name of the object from one method to another method through the parameters. So, recap what is the meaning of parameter. It is used to hold an argument that is passed to a method when the method is called. Okay. Kita hantar apa-apa nilai yang kita uh, nak hantar kepada method tersebut apabila method itu dipanggil. So example, okay, the instruction called the money one move method. Okay, so method dia move kan and pass the argument forward and 0 0.25. Forward ni apa? So move ke direction ke hadapan uh, distance dia berapa? 0 0.25 meter. Okay, so you guna dekat sini. So Ni ada forward dengan 0.25. Apa ke benda-bendanya tu? Okay. They are the arguments. So, ini nama method you all. Ataupun function you all. Move. So, di, ni nama object you all. Bani. Okay. Daripada kelas bani tu. So, in LS3, we can set the parameter value from the input value. So, using previous input example, you can set the bani one height from the input data. Okay, kita dah buat ni kan. Tadi kita dah setkan bani one height ni kepada height yang baru. So, this is the parameter from the input data. Tu je. So, tolong buat supaya you punya bani okay, yang, yang dah kita buat sebelum ni you punya bani ada dua Okay, ada dua kiri kanan. Lepas tu dia pusingkan. Pusing berhadapan sesama sendiri. Dan dia boleh move forward. Lepas tu apa yang berlaku dia boleh hop. Okay. Hop ke hadapan. Apa lagi yang kita dah buat. Lepas dia hop ke hadapan tu. Uh, let's see. Okay. Lepas tu dia. Oh sorry, sebelum dia hop ke hadapan Okay, saya ulang balik uh, You ada dua ekor bani Bani ni uh, dia boleh pusing berhadapan dengan dia Dan dia boleh bergerak ke hadapan Okay Pada mulanya dia hanya cakap Ini dalam previous punya ni Notes, topic 4 tak silap saya Dia cakap hello Bani 1, lepas tu bani 2 cakap hi there Kalau tak silap saya lah Okay, dalam example yang ni Topik 5 ni Okay Dia, bani 1 ni cakap Hi, I am bani 1 My height is berapa Berapa tu dipulangkan oleh komputer Bani 2 pun sama Buat bani 2 pun sama eh Bani 2 pun sama juga, dia akan cakap benda yang sama Hi, I am bani 2 My height is berapa Yang dipulangkan oleh komputer So, lepas tu you buat um, hopping di mana dia melompat. Tadi dalam first yang topik 4 tadi, dia hanya forward ke hadapan. Yang ni saya nak dia melompat. So, kita pun dah buat function ni. Dia melompat. Okay, lepas dia lompat tu kita nak buat apa? Okay, kita nak buat satu variable nama dia Bunny one height. Okay. Lepas tu kita buat apa dengan variable tu? Kita prompt user tanya dia uh, suruh masukkan bunny one height yang baru. Betul? Bila kita lepas kita prompt tu. Okay ni yang kita prompt ni. So bila lepas dia masukkan yang baru tu yang dekat sini ni. Dia akan disimpan ke dalam Variable yang sama juga means kita update balik variable body one height tu. So lepas kita tu kita tambah jangan lupa tambah dengan 0.25 whatever the user entered must be added with 0.25 and then kita set supaya body one height ni jadi digunakan untuk 
ketinggian yang baru pada bandi 1 dan bila kita run bandi 1 kita akan membesar macam ni. Okey, dia lebih besarlah daripada yang asal maksudnya. Okey. Ha, itu je lah yang boleh dibuat. Untuk you all fahamkan apa itu uh, variable, apa itu data expression, apa itu parameters, apa itu method, apa itu built-in method, apa itu procedure, apa itu function. Okay, semua ni telah di covered, already covered inside the topic 5. Okay, class. So, I hope you buat. Later on next class, I nak check where you have to run your program.